Now here's a question for the car freaks. What vehicle is this? It's a bit of a mystery, isn't it? What style of a vehicle has this interior layout? Featuring, as we see, a tappet cover from a Rolls-Royce Merlin V12 aircraft engine over the fuse box beside the LPG dual fuel controls. Underneath the airspeed indicator and altimeter which were salvaged from Canada John's Skycraft Scout. Search that Skycraft Scout Canada John for an entirely different story. I purchased this mad scientist mobile fully built. All I had to do was register it from a bloke called Paul Faturis whose father had been an unlicensed aeroplane mechanic and Paul's fantasy was that he was as good an aeroplane mechanic as anybody else so when he stuck a six-cylinder Holden red motor into a Toyota Stout he had to remove the entire dashboard to do it and he just built his own dashboard instead huge wheels it was only two-wheel drive, but it had uh, limited slip diff, and it'd go nearly anywhere. With absolutely vile fuel consumption. Horrible aerodynamics. And I lived 15 kilometres from town, so the battery was permanently 30% flat, permanently drawing 30% from the alt motor. But my kids thought it was pretty cool at the time, and I didn't mind. From memory, the bright red button was the windscreen wipers. The headlights were the rotary switch. It had a siren. <coughs> it had an old floor mounted headlight dipper switch translated up to the dashboard for the high beam, low beam. That little white button was the horn there. Momo steering wheel. It was a glorious thing. Back in the days when I used to make chainsaw milled boomerangs. Featured here on the bonnet. But eventually I had to get rid of all that weirdness. Replaced by an HR station wagon that looked normal from the outside. But it had a five speed Celica gearbox and it ran on LP gas as well. So it only looked normal. Protective coloration. 